guys, today we have a one topic video, just a very quick thing happening with Mr. James Charles himself. So all my social media links will be in the description along with my beauty channel, anything else you might need to find, including my TikTok and stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment for engagement. If you remember being subscribed and not unsubscribing, scroll down, make sure you still are subscribed because YouTube does a weird thing sometimes and then they let us know like a month later they did that weird thing. So just just check things out. So recently James Charles has been in a lot of drama because drama, it's a crime. Where he's been caught talking to people that he shouldn't be talking to and a lot of those people came out on TikTok and many different platforms and he has now posted an apology, you know, holding himself accountable and all that stuff. It has now actually um, gotten more dislikes than likes, but for a long time it was more likes than dislikes. So because of all of that, you know, he's been kind of off the internet and recently I was tagged on TikTok, which if you see stuff on TikTok, tag me in it. Um, if you have a TikTok account, I like to see stuff. And in my mentions, you know, you guys give me a lot of ideas for videos. I saw your TikTok, I'm gonna play it for you guys now. where someone was basically going through his links and they found his old Twitter account. And when I saw this TikTok, at first I was like, oh my God. And then I thought that the TikTok was wrong um, in what they were saying. But then I thought about it again and I don't think they're wrong. Like I think this is actually James Charles in some weird sense of the word. Okay, so what happened was he had this old um, account called James Charles with two S's. That was his official Twitter. Um, he actually had that linked in all of his videos in the description, which means it's an official. Twitter account for him where he posted many tweets uh, that are still there okay let's just make that very clear so I used to have okay for, for example just to just to give an example my name on Twitter used to be what my snapchat name was and I deleted snapchat so I don't have snapchat anymore so I decided to change and rebrand into Jellica All so that there's more consistency between my YouTube channels and all of my social media platforms I didn't want it to be like something here and something else there. So I tried to keep them as similar as possible. So when I changed my name on Instagram and on my Twitter, obviously that's still the same Twitter and Instagram account. It still has the same posts, it has the same tweets, um, it has the same stuff. Like I just changed my name and then people when they had to at me, they had to at a different name. But it didn't delete my account, it didn't create a new account. It just changed names, but it didn't change an account. So I have some experience in this, you know, in changing names on Twitter, I feel like everyone does. Your tweets stay where they are, you just have a different name on your account. So he, instead of changing the name of his account, he created a new account. But the old account wasn't deleted, but also doesn't seem to have been sold to anyone or given to anyone because all of his old tweets are still on there. So it's just really strange. It does kind of seem like he created a new James Charles account. It was called James Charles Beauty, and then it was called James Charles The Way It Is Now, that's his account. And I feel like he kept his old account as maybe like a burner account where he could go and see stuff. I mean, I feel like everyone has a burner account, mainly um, drama channels. I know I talk to a lot of people, we all have burner accounts only because we get blocked by people all the time. Uh, like Jeffree Star he still has me blocked. James Charles unblocked me like a few months ago. Um, surprised he hasn't blocked me yet again. But yeah, so when I wanna see Jeffree Star's tweets, I have to go on my burner account and then, you know, but it doesn't have my name on it. It's just a burner account. Like it's just the name that they gave me. And yeah, that's how people use burner accounts. I feel like he must have kept that account because if he had given it to someone, that person would have probably wiped the account clean and then started tweeting their own stuff, right? Why would you keep someone else's tweets on your account? So it kind of does seem like James has now kept both of these accounts. That's not confirmed, I'm just saying this as like a little theory. And recently, obviously, the account was caught saying the N-word at Jeffree Star. Now, does James have beef with Jeffree Star? Absolutely, would he be petty enough to maybe tweet at Jeffree from burner account? Maybe so. Was this done as maybe like a way to distract from what's happening? Not a really great way to do that. But he was, you know, that account was saying the N-word. So that came up in the TikTok. And when I saw that, I genuinely was like, oh, well, this doesn't make really, this doesn't really make sense because if he had changed his name, someone else could have that name and they could be using that account under the name. But that doesn't make sense, right? I was a little bit dumb. I think I watched that TikTok at night. So let me just explain why that doesn't work. If he had just um, changed his name to something else, someone else would be able to take the James Charles at because that's technically available. Like when I changed my Twitter name to what it is now, someone had very quickly taken my old name. Um, I think it was like an account, like a stan account, which is really weird to say, but like, like a fan account, right? They took my old name and they were like, oh my God, I can have her name. Like it, it was kind of like a funny moment where I was like handing over my old um, at. 
But that didn't mean that they got my tweets. I still had the tweets that I had on my account and they just had their tweets on their account, but we just, we, we just switched our names, right? So if he had just switched his name, switched his at, someone else could take that at, but it wouldn't mean that they would have his tweets on their account. This is very confusing, okay? But that's not the case because the James Charles account has its own tweets that it had since 2016. And then the James Charles account has its own new tweets, which means this is a new account and that's the old account. So no one else could have taken this account from him because he technically still owns both of these names. It's not like the way I did it, which was have one Twitter account. It was called it's Angela XO or something like that. So I had that. And then I changed the name to Angelica Oles and someone then took the available name, it's Angela XO, for their account. But we didn't share tweets. My tweet stayed on my account, their tweet stayed on their account. It was just different names. With James Charles, he didn't have the same account where he switched names. He had this James Charles account and then he created a new account called James Charles. So no one was able to take this name because this name was still not available. It was still his name to have. Am I making sense? Definitely. So this makes me think that this is still his account, that's still an account that he owns, unless he gave it to someone, maybe like a fan or something, and they just kept all the tweets up because they're like, oh my God, James Charles tweets. But then why would they tweet the N-word at Jeffree Star? He wouldn't like, this quite clearly just doesn't look good for James. Like if this is a fan doing this, it's not a good look. If this is James doing it, not a good look. When all of this said coming out, which is, this just makes it a little bit worse. When all of this said coming out, people started talking about it. The TikTok got a lot of traction. Drama channels are talking about it. The tweet was quickly deleted, which once again makes me think this is not someone else because if it was someone else, why would they care if the tweet is up or not? It's not like they're being called out for saying the N-word it's still James Charles being called out for seeing the N-word, so they wouldn't really be affected by this, whoever is tweeting from the account if it's not James Charles. The fact that it was deleted makes me think that maybe it's someone who cares what people think about them, aka someone who's a public figure. There's another theory that he did give this account to someone um, and they started tweeting this stuff to make him look bad because of the controversy so that if people look back on his old accounts, they can see this and it will start a new controversy for him this could fully well be the case like someone else took this account from him um and just never deleted the tweets because the account was suspended recently which makes me think that if this was someone else that james charles gave this account to maybe he did reach out to them and say hey you can't tweet stuff like that when you still have my name on your account they said none of your business mind your own business and he reached out to twitter and had them suspend the account that's another theory that i have it's either that he still has the account and he used it it you know didn't go as planned and he basically deleted the tweet and then I don't know but like why would the account be suspended it's not like if you delete your own account it just says account doesn't exist it doesn't say account suspended you actually have to be suspended by twitter for it to say suspended it's a bit of a coincidence that right now this account got suspended when for the last few years it was just existing without any drama right it just seems a really seems like a bit of a coincidence um that right as he's being called out for this tweet the account gets suspended by twitter like why does twitter care about this random burner account they don't so yeah those are my two theories i guess it's that it's either james he deleted the tweet and somehow had his own account suspended or it's someone else that he gave the account to that then started tweeting this stuff and he had their account suspended but they deleted the tweet i don't this is such a weird situation i would love for you guys to tell me if you think that this is still James Charles tweeting from the account or if it's someone that he gave it to and then that person gave it to someone else and it like made rounds and ended up, you know, with someone who's not a fan of James um, and they're just messing with him or if that's actually him. And also, why would he do this? It's already a weird situation that this account was even found right as they're tweeting this stuff. So to me, it's really strange that he would do this or anyone would do this on a burner account when you're not even sure if anyone's going to find it. Like, what's the point of doing something if you don't think anyone's going to find it? So... To me, this whole account story is so strange because like it's such a weird coincidence that as this account is tweeting this stuff after four years of silence, people then find this account and they're like, oh my God, what is happening? This just seems like such a strange situation. Also, if this is James Charles, then let's just add that to the list of controversies and problematic behavior from him. Like if this is actually James sitting at home in his own personal time, and saying the n-word at Jeffree Star because he thinks he's like being petty and funny. And let's just add that to another list of stuff that he's done. But if it's someone else, why would they do that? If this account doesn't have a lot of followers, it doesn't have a lot of like traction. So why would they do that? And when I got this TikTok, I was convinced that it does make sense and that it's not James Charles. But the fact that it's two separate Twitter accounts makes me think 
that it could actually be James Charles. And if it is James Charles, then he's going to have to explain himself yet again. Are we going to get another Twitter statement? I sure hope so, because I'm so confused. I want to know what he did to this Twitter account, if he still has it, or if he's given it to someone else. If he still has it, then... I don't know what to tell you, James. Uh, we're already, you know, in deep water, so... Um... I guess we're just drowning now, but if it's been given to someone else, I don't know how he's going to prove that. Maybe some like DMs of him giving the account to someone, but also why wouldn't they change the at? Why would you still want to have James Charles's at on an account that is yours now? And also why would you tweet this stuff? It's just such a strange situation to me. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what your conspiracy theories are. Like, is this his account? Is this not his account? Is he tweeting? Is he not tweeting? Is this someone else? Someone who has a vendetta against him? Someone who, you know, has someone who wants him to be cancelled. I don't know. I'm very confused. I've been confused since watching this TikTok. I've watched it so many times and to, till now, I'm still just like unsure of what's happening. If you guys enjoyed this very short video with a quick update on James Charles, then hit that bell, subscribe, like, comment for engagement. Social media links will be in the description along with anything else you might need to find and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.